Hi everyone. So today I've just come to do a little um, let, let's make project and it's um, I've made a prototype. <laughs> oh, see if I can dig it out from underneath all my tools that are lying around. So it's a little another little booklet and it's got four pockets in it. I've just drawn on there. I'm gonna have a pocket here, I'm gonna have a pocket there, I'd put it on upside down there. A uh, little booklet, another pocket, and another little pocket there, and that's the back. So, <clears throat> uh, obviously I've done that with white paper. I am white cardstock, sorry. This is coffee dyed cardstock. And I'm going to need uh, my scoreboard. And because this, I'm using a, a A4 size piece of card. So I'm just going to find the middle by doing that getting my little score there so that I can sit it on the six that little score I'm going to sit on the six inch mark and then I'm going to score there then I'm going to go from the six inch to the nine and a half and then I'm going to come back along and I'm going to go to two and a half here should have done it the other way but I'm working backwards and then turn it around so obviously we're doing that on the longest part now on the length i'm just going to score it at seven um because obviously this is going to go into a journal but if you want it smaller then just score it um, at your desired length if you're using 12 by 12 then just find the the middle do out two and a half or three inches and then use this piece and that piece for your pockets <clears throat> get this done in 15 minutes so i'm just gonna chop off this part here i should have just scored it on here actually but i wasn't thinking so i'm just making sure that that's buttied up there just gonna score along there to get rid of that piece and i do keep them because i stick my words to them and we get rid of this now i'm gonna bring in my Martha Stewart punch you can use any punch you like and I'm just gonna punch the two end pieces I'm gonna move it around so that I can see well so that I can lean over because uh, this can be a little tricky to line up oh sorry if that wobbled the camera and just making sure that's pretty straight and then do the same on the other side now i'm not i've got a few pieces to add to it but you know you can just decorate it as you please oh and i will be back tonight with my live uh craft with me oh that was hard work doing that be about 8 30 ish tonight right so, I'm going to fold it in half and pop on folder then fold that, fold that away and fold that, is that in that way? Yes, <laughs> you can do it the other way if you like but that's how I'm doing mine. You can stitch all around that but I'm not going to because of um, time. Then I've got a piece of, I did have a piece of cardstock here, which actually, I'm just going to make two little pockets. I did actually want to do triangled pockets, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fold that and just make longish ones. And I'm just going to do it like that. Can ink up all around the edges very quickly. You can use patterned cardstock to make these as well.
thinking up takes a little bit of time. Then I just have to do this middle piece. You can, if you're using cardstock, like plain or coffee dyed cardstock, then stencil or stamp or gesso it and stencil and stamp. Just got to ink up these. Um, now, let me just check. That's going that way, that way. And put that in there. So, <clears throat> making sure I'm inking up the right sides. I am going to stencil on these just because I've got a lit I've got a butterfly and some uh, cheesecloth to add to that so I just want something else in the background well, there we go I still haven't washed this if you've been watching my videos <laughs> uh, okay right that needs it's that way isn't it and I'm all confused now that way that way that way so I need to ink that up I've probably just folded it the wrong way now um, that's why that wasn't inked but hey ho there we go okay right so I'm just going to glue that <clears throat> glue the pockets but you can stitch it if you like I hope the glue is going to come out probably not no, of course it doesn't want to, does it? If it's not too thick and not too runny, it just doesn't come out. <laughs> it's like one of three. There we go. So just a little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. Press it down. Hold it for a second. And the same here. Hope everyone is keeping well. And you're keeping busy because I know it's getting quite tedious being stuck indoors. My house is getting cleaner and cleaner by the day and having big clear outs as well. So um, it's decluttering and cleaning, great fun. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on. I didn't put enough glue. As if you watch my one of my videos the other night was talking about this glue they've changed they've got to have changed something in this right not too close to the edge uh, the middle here sorry because obviously you still want that to close and then on here I mean you could have could have done it that way or that way but I'm doing it that way because that's how I've cut it and stenciled it and inked it oops all over the place here and again not too close to that edge there what time am I on oh only eight minutes that's pretty good thought it might have took longer so I'm gonna play around with the ink a little bit more I might actually um, get that stencil back out and just do a little bit of stenciling might help if it's run the right way but if you're using pattern cardstock, you don't need to do that. Uh, just a little bit here, a little bit there. <clears throat> Not really fussed, just a little bit of something going on there. And then on here, I'm not worried about the direction of this at all. Oh, that's a nice little bit coming up there. So that's quite, quite light. Right. So we've nearly done it. So, no, we haven't, Yvonne, we have not. Um, I need some paper. And some coffee dyed paper or lined paper or any type of paper that you want to put in there. Um, it's sitting straight. There we go, just kind of line that up. Um, not perfect, but... I'm just going to draw. Let's see, that's pretty straight. I'm going to trim that a little bit. I 
and then I'm just going to measure that for in here. And where's my pencil? And there. And take it in a little bit because you don't want it sticking out. I'm just going to have to cut that. some of that and I'm going to use my you can sew this in if you don't have a big long reach stapler so I'll just check in that's the right way and if you're doing this with pattern paper and things like that when you're decorating it make sure you're um you're going in the right direction okay just that was a bit there we go Oops, just drop my pillow. Okay, so that's how I've got a little notebook inside there now. And I've got my cheesecloth and a butterfly there. There we go. That wasn't perfect. Oh, it is, it's just the paper's a bit wonky. A um, little bit of cheesecloth. Scissors. Uh, you can hear people going out for their daily walk. <clears throat> it's the family down the street. Every day about this time, they take the dogs and the kids out, bless them, because you're allowed out once a day for some exercise. Right, so there's that. And then we're just going to leave it a bit there. And then there's other people that go out thinking there's nothing going on in the world. It really gets my back up. You see the same people out two and three times a day. There we go. So I'll fiddle around with that afterwards because I just want to stick in there what I've got ready. So we have that pocket there. You can decorate this as well. Um, we can have a tag in there too. Then you can put <clears throat> another tag in there. You can put something else in there. Um, Got another one of these. This is from Tsunami Rose. Another one of these from Artie Maze. The butterflies in blue. And then on the back there, got another. Obviously, everything's not quite dry yet, but there we have it. You could add a nice little piece of ribbon, or I'm just going to use a little bit of organza ribbon here just to tie. You could somehow, if you um, if you think about it, a little bit longer than I have, really, uh, put a permanent tie on there somehow. So there we have it, really quick and easy. And you've got yourself another insert for your journal, or you could do something like this and just give it away as Happy Mail. So there we have it, little booklet, another pocket, put in whatever you like, and in the back so there we have it um what my earth oh wow what did i've done this in less than 15 minutes so like i said i will be back tonight later on tonight and if you're watching this tomorrow then it won't be tonight it was yesterday <laughs> um with <coughs> the file fold trifold file folder trifold journal it's a mouthful isn't it so I hope this is useful. Um, if you make it, I would love to see it. If you're on any of the groups and you make it, tag me in that so that I can see how you've done yours and what you've used. So there we go. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching and speak to you all soon. Bye.